Hello, everyone, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts 2 First Time Critical Mode. On this episode, we're going on some treasure hunting. So, uh, get your freaking popcorn ready or whatever, I guess. It's gonna be an adventure of some sort. Okay, Twilight Town Guide. Let me just look it up. Okay, Cage Wiki. Mithril Shard. Okay, so it should be a Mithril Crystal and it's on, on Sunset Terrace. So I'll look there. Oh yeah, I could just go this way. Oh wait, that's Sunset Station. So where is Sunset Terrace? And then there's Plaza. Oh wait, maybe the next thing is the Terrace. Oh, I'm missing something here apparently. Time to go looking. Thought I got everything here, but I mean, it's possible I missed something. This is freaking three by me. I want one for Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. Okay. I should just look up Kingdom Hearts 2. Okay. Hold up. This world shard. Sunset Terrace all the way down left end of the tracks and to the right. Um. Yeah, my lights are bright. Sorry, I gotta fix this. Oh wait, they mean like down here maybe. This is the end of the tracks right here. Damn it. Okay. Well, this isn't helpful. Okay, I'm just gonna look up a video. This should help more. treasure hunt I don't know if I can find all of these on the one stream but I mean there isn't 
that many at least. So, who knows? Okay, two Radiant Garden. Let's see what we're missing here. I mean, I pretty much looked, explored all locations in the game, so it shouldn't be too hard to... Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16... Um, freaking... That I did... 24... 25... 26, 27. What's chest 27? Let's find out here. Radiant Garden. AP boost. In, oh, it's in the cavern. Oh, we're going back to the cavern again. Yep. I mean, they're not exactly hard to find. This freaking... See, the thing is, in this game, all the treasure chests mostly are in plain sight. So you shouldn't really have trouble finding most of them. You can hard one. They're kind of hard to find. You actually have to, like, think to get them. But, like... That game didn't have anything, like, tracking how many treasures... Like, you had. Like, it does in this game. So... It's funny that the game that doesn't really need it has that feature, but the one that does, does not have it. Oh yeah, what was I doing? Cavern. Okay, we're going to the depths. Oh, well, how convenient, it's right there. Well, I don't want to look at a guide unless I'm absolutely stumped, so um, let's just try to find it. You see a chest, just let me know. Oh, no, 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 no. Probably in some hidden location, because this area is a little more tricky. Oh, I think it's up there. Aha! Hidden treasure! How the hell do I get up here? I think I gotta... Go around. Here we go. True. What did it even give me? I didn't get to see. Oh yeah, AP boost. That's right. Wait, why do I have Mega Potion equipped? I never put that in my inventory. Okay, um... I'll just use the power burst and the magic boost. Um, did we get anything new? Let's see. Eh, I don't use it a lot, but I mean, I might as well. I kind of just equip everything, unless it's bad. Okay, I think that's everything in Radiant Garden, so... Let's check our treasure list again here. Oh, nope, never mind. 24... Okay. Let's see, wait, 20... Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Let's see what's thirty-seven here. Oh, okay, more stuff in the caverns. <laughs> Gotta go to the engine room. Doesn't surprise me there's more treasure in there, considering that's where all the enemies were. I wasn't focused on getting treasure, I was focusing on fighting all those annoying guys. So we back in the mines. Got our pickaxe swinging from side to side. Oh, 
Also, hey, thanks for stopping by and want some more. I'll probably put KH2 on hold if I can't meet it before Origins comes out because... I mean, like, I don't know if I'm actually gonna finish up. I mean, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do next episode, but I kinda just wanted to do some extra stuff before I get to the actual stuff I should try to do, like the final boss and maybe some, like, post-game bosses. I'll dedicate different episodes to both of those things. Man, sure, let's play. Oh, that's fine. Well, basically, I'm ba I'm almost finished with this game. I just, um, got some, like, odds and ends I'm taking care of, like, getting random treasures, finding some end-game, like, post-game type of bosses, except I haven't actually beat the game. Like, I'm just stalling the final boss to do some other side content, basically. Because that's what this cavern is here for. It's like an endgame thing, because you can't even go here, really, and do anything unless you have the necessary movement options, so... Kind of just sitting here until you have everything. The way I did it was kind of weird, where I just, like, upgrading my movement abilities to, like, almost done as I was going. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that'd be fun. Hopefully it's a fun game, too. Oh yeah, I forgot I was getting treasure, too. I just wanted to fight some enemies for a little bit. Eh, that's fine. Still would be pretty cool. Stop. Bro, oh, those air vents suck. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, now I gotta find some treasure in here. Remembrance crystal, huh? That's neat. Okay, well there's nothing here. There's all the treasure. I don't know. Bruh. Spiral. Let's go. The mid games begin. Still no treasure to be seen here. Has to be somewhere though. Bro, oh, do these guys have to appear like everywhere?
Bro, Donald just fell off the conveyor. His dead corpse fell. Donald, no, come back. I can't believe it. He's gone. Oh, okay. Damn, they're they're hiding them. Okay, wait. There's, there's gotta be another one, right? AP boost. Oh, I think the next place I'm looking is the mine shaft. Oops, I didn't mean to go this way. Man, with the advent of all these Mario, Super Mario 64 and X game mods and random games, I hope someone makes Mario in Kingdom Hearts. Because that would be kind of epic, considering... Super Mario 64 literally inspired Kingdom Hearts to begin with. Like, it needs to happen. Okay, so the treasure is definitely in this room. I don't know how it would work mechanically because, I mean, it's Mario 64. How do you translate that to an action RPG? But it would be cool. Imagine if Mario just had, like, a bunch of extra movement abilities, like Sora or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember Mario wielding it. Damn it, I hate this part. Maybe it's down. I don't remember. Ah. Okay. Let me just. Cavern of Remembrance Treasure. Treasure chest locations. I probably got that treasure, right? Okay, if I just went back for no reason, then I'll be mad. No. Oh my god, go away. I'm trying to freaking platform over here. I don't care about you. Or your steam vents of death. No, I opened that one. Damn it. Where is it? Okay, let me just look at this again once more. I don't know what it is. 
Shook. Okay. Hold on. So, 8, 16, 24, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Yeah, it's definitely in the mineshaft. Uh, okay. chance I might have just missed something basic. I definitely did. Okay. Yeah, um. Oh, wait, no. Ah, damn it. Bad at counting. Okay, so each... Sixteen. Um, Thirty-four plus. Oh wait, thirty-two. Okay. Thirty-three. Thirty. Okay, thirty-two. Each. Ah. Uh, Forty-one. Forty-two. Forty-three. Forty-four. Forty-five. Forty-six. One is treasure. Uh, Forty-six. No, that's not it either. Ah! Oh. Okay. 16. Okay, so 8, 16, 32. Forty. Right? That should be forty. But why does it why is there more treasure than there actually is? Unless I'm counting wrong here. Trying to see which number this one is. I'll just, I'll just count a manual. Screw it. be stupid. Okay, it's definitely in the engine chamber. I just don't know where it is. Okay, back to the engine chamber again. Oh, I'm... Okay. I should've... I should've saw that. That was tricky, okay? Okay, now we can just leave here. Next, we're off to the Land of Dragons once again. Wait, what's the, what the ordering here? Who goes to Agrabah before the Land of Dragons? That's weird. No one does this. That's like the first place to go to in the game, bruh. Okay, um, Agrabah. So this is 16, and this is 18. No, I'm gonna ignore you this time. Time to leave.
Okay, what are we missing here? Missile shard and AP boost. Let's see if that lines up with what we're missing here. Mixing up the Pride Lands. I mean, it, it's Land of Dragons with Agrabah for some reason. What am I saying? Yeah, I'm kind of. I'm just looking all over the place. I was confused because I mentioned Agrabah going to Agrabah for the Land of Dragons on the freaking list. Like, why is it set up like that? Okay, enough of my confused butt. Let's go do this. No wonder it didn't match up. Okay, Land of Dragons. The Land of Dragons. Okay, wait. AP Boost and AP Boost. They're both in the throne room, apparently. So let's just go right to it. Wait, no, that can't be right. Ah. Doesn't account for the torn pages, so the lick, the wiki list is, like, way off. From what it actually is. I think. I don't know. Let me just check. Oh, wait, yeah, there's an AP boost here. And... Hmm. Huh. How could there be more treasures here? True, Hagaba Brain Rod. Um There's like nothing in this room. I open all these chests. Oh, you you sneaky. Sneaky, okay. Damn. Thank you, Wiki. Let's go. Okay, what else do we got here? Um, basically nothing. Um, Port Royal. And then we're going back to World that Never Was. King recipe in the, the ship graveyard. King drift row. Well, I can't get there right now, apparently. Next episode, I think I'm just gonna fight Zemnit. Finish him off. And that'll be a good part to hold off on other stuff, because I could just label them as bonus episodes rather than the main canyon of the playthrough. Cavity of Remembrance is part of the main canyon here, but I think any data fights or lingering will can just be bonus episode, part one, part two, whatever. I think, oh yeah, talk to Jack. What am I doing? I'm just talking. So, I'm just doing some stuff. Jack, jump scare. Obi-Wan Kenobi voice Jack. I'm gonna be copyrighted for this, aren't I? 
kind of forgot about that. Wait, I hit- oh. Yeah, whatever. I guess I wasn't fast enough. What room am I in? Oh, I'm in Sea Drift Keep right now. I need to go to Sea Drift Row, though. If I want to make it anywhere. Ah. Makes sense that there's a chest in here. I mean... I can imagine a lot of spaces you can just hide stuff in these little corners. Don't know where, though. Knowing me, it's probably hidden in place light somewhere. Bro, I can hit the dice at him. Oh, it's right here. Yep, hidden in plain sight. But hey, the, I, the, in all fairness, the chests are kind of dark in this world. And they all kind of blend in. Together, so. Can't really blame me there. Okay, now we just gotta go to a world that never was. But first, more enemy battling. Oh, that, that's it. They're dead. By the way, part of my Sonic Origins revisit playthrough of Wall and Wolf, going through all the games. My mic wasn't on. Part of my Sonic Origins revisit playthrough of Wall and Wolf, going through the games with different characters this time, but I'm not playing all of them yet. So I do want to do playthroughs for every character, I mentioned. I just not gone around to it yet. So I'll do Amy and Sonic CD. Tails in Sonic 1, and Knuckles in Sonic 3, though I don't know who I'm going to do in Sonic 2 yet. I think I might also just do Tails in Sonic 2, honestly. Just to keep, you know, it makes sense to do those characters in those games, I think. So, I think that's a good way to do it. And then for other random playthroughs, I'll just do them later. Again. And depending on how long the Game Gear game, yes, I will play Sonic Blast, the best Sonic game ever. Depending on how long it takes me to beat the Game Gear games, I might just play those twice. That's like the old UN days when I when I would play back to back the SNES version of Sonic Toy Story and the Genesis version of Toy Story. I just played those games at the same time. I mean, in all fairness, one was missing content the other version didn't have. And they they all they both had their own differences, but they were mostly the same game. So um, and then I played the Game Boy version, which was like horrible. I don't think I'll ever play those games again. But they are still ingrained as an early part of the UM stream lore, so they're in my heart. I won't forget about them. Okay, treasure. Okay, H, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay. 8 and 14. Wait, I'm missing a map? Of course, leave it to me to not have a map of something. Okay, not Skyway and the Brink of Despair. At least that should be it. Wait, no, that doesn't line up with my... Ah, the order is probably messed up or something on this wiki, I don't know. Yeah, it's saying there's a treasure in the Brink of Despair. How how could that be? There's like nothing here. And 
unless it's like somehow hit it. Bro. I mean, I will, but I, I wanted to play both of them because I'm not getting the authentic Sonic Origins experience from not playing both versions. Right? Question mark. Although, actually, I think my deal was only play the Game Gear versions if they actually give me something in Origins, like like new museum content. If not, then I'll just do the Master Sister versions, and that's it. Um. Fourteen. Okay, I gotta go to Nod Skyway. Don't know where that is, but I imagine it's near the end. Well, let's not approach. No, oh, the altar of a notch. It's probably like down here. Or not. Sorry, I don't want to tangle with you. I like the appearing poor thing. Definitely giving me that gives me dive to the heart vibes. Where the heck is Nazi Highway? Yeah, I just wanted the you know the museum stuff. That's why. No, I don't know where Not Skyway is. Oh, weird. You'd think it would be higher up because, freaking, it's called Skyway. So I'm like, oh, it must be in the sky now. So where is this treasure? Probably in some stupid corner. Yep. Well, that's it. We what? No, that's it. No achievement for getting all the treasure. Nothing. Maybe I just missed one. Probably not though. I don't think the game actually gives you anything. I mean, they're pretty much the definitive versions, because, I mean, why would you want to, I will willingly play these games with screen crunch. Game Gear, uh, Master System Sonic 2 is probably a lot better without the screen crunch. That game suffers hard from it. Not that it was great to begin with or anything, but hey, if you're gonna play a mid-game, you might as well play the best version of said mid-game. Maybe I'll like it. Who knows? Uh, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. I mean, I can't rag on it too much. It set out what it wanted to do. It's a cute little version of a game that isn't really the same as the, con you know, the main version. Really, it's its own game, but like, still. It's like a companion piece. Bruh, they got rid of the green apple flavor? What the heck? That's like the go. No levels?
Damn, Lime is lame. Parry. Yeah, true. Honestly, I thought this area was where you do the data battles since they have, like, little graves for each, like, boss. Wait a minute, why is Roxas the only one that's lit up? Is it because he's still, he's not, the, the only one technically not dead? Because he's in Zora? Everyone else is dead. That's why they're red. I don't know. There's gotta be some more here. Okay, I'm checking the treasure map. Damn, that's it? No achievements? Well, I don't care. I got every treasure. That's what I wanted to do. Um... That's it? No achievements? Okay. Bruh. The line gets that I'll snap. True, true. Sadness. Okay, well, let's go to a random mogul. If I can find one, that is. Where are the moogles at? Where are my moogles at? Um... True. Well, if I don't know where to go, then the underworld got me. Oh, wow. Is that what I get for getting the treasures? What do they mean, the collection? I got- I completed the Spring Gucci collection, guys. Wait, is that like the best weapon for them? Maybe I should get- What is this? What is Save the Queen and Save the King? Whoa, sorry, sorry. Oof. I think I might get them. Well, they do use Remembrance, then. Oh, okay. I wasn't even trying to do that. Okay. Centurion KI. Now, let me just look these up to see their stats. Um, that's a thing for Donald Dog. Oh, you get that from Lexius. That's a strength item, not magic. Okay. Save the Queen. That's kind of a raw name. Save the Queen and save the King. Oh wow, they're probably pretty good then. Oh yeah, these were in King of Mark 1 as well. Yeah, let's get them. Wow, that looks roll as hell. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it quickly revives the wielder? Damn, that would have been helpful earlier against, like, Marluxia or something. Donald would have came back. Wait, what did I do? Um, true. Donald would have been a, more of a goat. Because he'd be dying a lot. That's okay, though. 
I don't know why the PlayStation sound played out, but it's fine. Oh yeah, have a great vacation postcard. True. Funny. Nice. My goat's Donald Goofy he got some good stuff. I can probably handle this now, but I don't. Eh, sure. Let's try it. Um, I don't know. I hear rumors about a 2D, a new 2D Mario game. If I get that, I'm gonna cry. That's all I'm gonna say. Go. Chicken Little. Rumors. I don't know if they're true though. There's also that fabled SNES remake, which people even think are Super Mar is Super Mario RPG or Fire Emblem Power. I'd be happy with either, personally, because, I mean, it sounds cool, but... I don't know. A new 2D Mario game that's, like, really crazy would be, like, it's hype as hell, I'm just saying. It doesn't even have to be hand-drawn, it just, if it has a cool style, and like, some new stuff that really makes it, like, stand out from other 2D stuff, then like, it could be like, the next big thing for Mark. But a 2D style would look really cool. I'm not opposed to it. But I feel like, it would have to not have any sacrifice to the actual gameplay, cause like, Honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I like Warrior Land Shake It a lot, but it's still not as good as Warrior Land 4. I don't know. Like, I like Warrior Land, it's a really good game, but like... I, I, I feel like, because they, they were working on the presentation of the game so much, the core of the game kind of feels like, somewhat simple, and uh, not simplified, I won't say simplified compared to Warrior Land 4, but like, I don't know. I just think Warrior Land 4 is a better game. New Super Mario Brothers Switch. Oh no, not these enemies. Um, Peter Pan. Like those KH1 pictures. Did some level 65 or something. I'm just sweeping them all effortlessly now. Sitch. If you haven't seen Lilo and Sitch, go and do that immediately because it is the best movie ever. Well, not really the best, but it's one of my favorite Disney movies personally. It's a good one. Oh, well, it's a genie. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool, actually. Bruh, look at this dude. You, you would, I think you would like it. I don't know. Stitch is cute and epic. And cool. And the show is also going into tech. Lilo and Stitch, the series, was my go as a kid. Easily my favorite show on Disney Channel. Other than, like, American Dragon. Great Jake Long. True. Yeah, Stitch is really cute and epic. I mean, yeah. Like, Mario Maker, I still kind of count as a new 2D game, but, like... It also, at the same time, doesn't really count. So, like, yeah, it's been literally 11 years. Since NSMBU. So if you don't count Mario Maker, yeah, it's been a long time. I think I just won. Oh, right, I still have to beat her. Yeah. 
Beat him with the power of Neverland. That was kind of epic. Damn it. Well, at least his weakness isn't barrel this time. True, new Super Luigi U does count, in my opinion. Oh, Hana! Go, Stitch! Bruh, Stitch is frickin'... Stitch bodied him immediately. Well, I landed the finisher, but Stitch basically beat him. Me too. Oh, a cutscene? Huh? Oh wait, did my voice turn off? I was just saying about how Stitch bodies them. Bruh, now I get a shield. Oh. There are no special rules in this tournament. Well, I guess I'll try that. And then meet Xemnas. Just because I'm annoying and I like to put, up, put off things as much as possible. I mean, if I was just Xemnas, the stream would be too short anyway. Because he'd probably get go down just as easily as Ansem did in Kingdom Hearts 1. I'm just saying. I don't expect a challenge necessarily, but... Especially because how beefed up I am now. But, like, maybe it'd be a little hard. I don't know. Like, all those post-game bosses and the cavern and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting Pikmin 4. I just might hold off till, like, Christmas or something. Because, like, Pikmin isn't, like, a priority priority, but... Get to exactly level 69. Well, I can do that next time. Oh, there's only four cups, so... Yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching the stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and check out the Twitter and Discord. Links are on the sidebar of the channel. I post updates to a lot of stuff, and... Um, you can chat and stuff in the server. I also have a YouTube where I save all my Twitch VODs. I got a lot of other Kingdom Hearts content. Mario... Sonic the Hedgehog, um, Splatoon, and a lot more. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to check it out. Anyway, have yourselves a good, a great day, and take care. Also, oh, really? Okay, I guess there's more cups than I thought. Damn it, am I gonna have to do an Olympic stream too? I thought, I thought that would be enough. Darn it. Okay, I could do that, maybe. Maybe I could just do that as a bonus episode. I don't know. Maybe it'd be too hard right now. Anyway, bye. I'm done now, capo.